1400 meters and they sent on their journey master of destiny did not get the best of beginnings neither did big sky country nor monarchy state of mind is right there the first call maitland magic green light to heaven pink floyd is very wide in the early stages gentleman's way midway back old season slips onto the rail tambora then we have naval secret further back in the running at this point in time master of destiny green sleeves of the white cap on the outside monarchy big sky country Blue Silks of State of Mind past the 800. Maitland Magic parked in second. Green Light to Heaven. Pink Floyd's now one out and back. Then comes Gentleman's Way. Gold Season sits towards the inside. Naval Secret gets the shuffle along to get a length closer. Tambora. Master of Destiny's got a whole lot of ground to make up. That's the favourite. Top of the lane, 400 metres to go. State of Mind, Gold Season, Green Light to Heaven. Pink Floyd comes out with Maitland Magic Tambora. Master of Destiny looking to run on Naval Secret. Green Light to Heaven at the 200 metre marker. Tambora's along the inside, Naval Secret. But Green Light to Heaven, they hit the fast forward button and it's race over. Master of Destiny going to get up for second. Tambora, Naval Secret, Monarchy. Number three, Green Light to Heaven. Gavin Van Zale for the Nikers. Rio Stud. Coming to the 200 meter marker. Just ricocheted away from the opposition. Wins comfortably by two. Master of Destiny, things did not map out for the favourite, ran on well at the business end. Tambora third, Naval Secret, Monarchy, Maitland Magic. 300 to go, green light to heaven moved up. On the outside, Naval Secret, Master of Destiny staying on, gold season not persevered with, big sky countries out the back door. Number three, green light to heaven, 380 the win, 180 the place. Well, it's a good win and a nice way to end off a Friday afternoon for the Gavin Fenzel team and Warren Kennedy. Well done to the Rio Stud breeders and Mr. D. Nyker and the son of Gimme the Green Light is uh, partnered by victory by uh, Warren Kennedy. But first up, the gentleman that takes care of him, his name is uh, Vuanile. Well done to you, my man. Congratulations. Thank Thousand Rand Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle. Congratulations. Thank you. Well done to the winning groom. First up, Warren Kennedy. It's a double for Warren. And uh, he's the best man to ask uh, uh, my next question. So long since that maiden win. Frustrating horse, Warren. Exceptionally frustrating, DZ. He won his maiden exceptionally well. Absolutely cruised in. And then we probably we jumped him into future races, which was probably not maybe a bit soon for him. And he didn't, he didn't equip himself very well there. So... You know, Gavin took his time with him, brought him back, and we learned a lot about him because he was starting to over-race in his races, and we've got him to settle down. I thought he would have won a lot sooner than this, Dees, his second win, but um, look, he's a fighter, he needs things to go his way. He's a horse that hasn't got the, the greatest amount of gate speed. He's not a horse that can turn it on with you, so you've got to, you know, hope that the race pace is, is, is really strong where he can get into a comfort zone and start building. Going to about the 800, he actually starts increasing his speed like he wants to get going and um, you know if you're caught behind horses you have to restrain him and then he doesn't quicken with you so it's been very frustrating you've got to just hope that the guys that do get ahead of you are, are keep a, a true and honest pace and today it was you know our sailboat was up there and, and she she is quite quick she went a nice honest pace he was building all the time but going through the 700 i was already starting to to lean on him he, he was looking to go already and um, luckily I, I got a splitter and um, i was able to ask him because it gives you a little kick and then he just powers on Dees. He just stays on all the way. So, you know, he, he's been very frustrating, but a deserved win. Well done to Dashen. He's been frustrating for Dashen. Dashen's been a, a soldier with this horse, absolutely, and to the stable. And, you know, no man deserves the win like that man does. He's, he's a great guy, and he's had a hard time. So, for Dashen, this one's for you. To Gavin and the team at home, doing all the hard work. I'm glad to bring another win home for them. Before you leave us, Warren Kenny has got many, many fans out there. Just at the top of your head tomorrow, I mean, while I speak, maybe you can think about it. I don't know if you had a look at your runs and on form, etc. But anything stand out for you tomorrow at the Big T? 
These are, I'll be honest with you, I haven't actually had a, a look. Yes. I race so often, I, I'll go tonight and look for tomorrow's sure, racing. Sure, sure. Um, I, I really, I don't want to take a fly and guess. I, <laughs> sure. I haven't had, I, I honestly haven't had a look. No, so, no, no, no. I'll so, put you on the spot. I'll yeah, put you on the spot. Yeah, so um, look, um, we're always trying hard. These are always, you know, riding for Paul there, you, 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 you've always got a big shot. Sure. So, I mean, yeah, we're going out there trying. Normally, I go there for one or two. You know, we don't like to go come home empty-handed. Yes, so, yes, yes. So hopefully, we can we can pick something up there. But just once again, well done to Gavin and his team. A well, nice way to start off the weekend. Thanks, Dees. Cheers. Well done to Warren Kennedy, Gavin. Yeah, you know, firstly, congratulations to uh, the team and the Shen. You know, Warren touched on it, and I'm sure you're going to touch on it as well. Patience of the owner has been rewarded. Yes, yeah, no, Deshen came in and spent a lot of money with myself and, and Gareth, bought us a couple, of, particularly me, bought us some very nice horses that, um, yeah, unfortunately hasn't come through like, you know, we planned, um, but he's had, his, he's had a few, few nice winners, Prince Chris comes to mind as well, and, and um, Jack in the Pot won a nice race for him, and this was now, you know, he flatters to deceive, not, not flatters to deceive, but he had his issues, well, the issues was he was Hema concentrating after he won his first race, and um, we ran him in two feet races, then we went to geld him, and it's just taken a little bit of time to find his feet, but a very nice, solid, sound, hard knocking type of horse. So hopefully he goes on from here and does Dashan very proud and wins him some lovely races. Well, give him our best, uh, Gavin. How are you feeling? You strong now? Yeah, I'm strong. I'm, you know, okay, I've got it, you know, I'm, I'm a bit numb on the left hand side sure, still, sure. but, uh, you know, the bit of pins and needles in it. But at the end of the day, I'm being very, very blessed. I could have been a lot worse. And um, to our sponsors, World Sports Betting, uh, well done to them. Thanks very much. And to Warren, good ride. Appreciate it. In no time, I'll be seeing you on the golf course, Gavin. Well done. Nice way Thank to you. end it off. Thank you. Thank you. Well done uh, to Gavin and uh, his team here. Number eight, Green Light to Heaven, has come through to close off the picks. And that's a wrap of race meeting on a Friday, uh, a meeting that was not scheduled, but uh, we had it a run today. So well done to the operator putting on this meeting uh, to keep racing alive on Friday. A big thank you to the entire team from the Gold Circle TV show. Sheldon Peters upstairs that works alongside Devon. It's been an absolute pleasure working alongside him. And from myself, Dees Dainan, enjoy your entire weekend until we meet again, which will be on Sunday at Hollywood Bed Scots. Will you take care? Salani Garshley.